Well, praise the Lord, everybody, and welcome again to Coffee in the Word. Listen, I'm so excited to be able to bring the Word of God to you. We're going to take some time, just the next several uh, sessions, and we're just going to talk about the importance of our words. We're going to talk about how we speak and, and, and the importance of learning kingdom language, actually. You know, when you get born again, God wants you to change your life, and He wants you to change your actions, your attitudes. He wants you to put on this new creation that He's made you to be. You know, just like a baby being born, a baby doesn't really know how to do anything, and as it grows, you have to teach it, and it learns how to take care of itself, and learns how to eat, and learns how to walk, and learns how to be a, a productive person in society. And that's what we have to do when we, we become Christians. We, we give our hearts and lives to the Lord Jesus Christ, and that takes just a second. I mean, once you confess Jesus as Lord, God saves you, you're delivered from your sins, you're brought into the family of God. But then it's so important that we learn how to walk in the things of God. And in the kingdom of God, there is a language, and it's called the language of faith. And the Lord Jesus Christ, when He was here, put great emphasis on what you believe and say out of your mouth. In fact, in Matthew chapter 12, here in verse 33, he says this, Either make the tree good and its fruit good, or else make the tree bad and its fruit bad, for a tree is known by its fruit. Notice, you and I have a responsibility on what kind of fruit we produce and what kind of tree or how we are recognized by others. He says, Brood of vipers, how can you being evil speak good things? For out of the abundance of the heart your mouth speaks. A good man out of the good treasure of his heart brings forth good things, and an evil man brings forth evil th- treasure. Out of the evil treasures brings forth evil things. You know what said? He says, you, it's so important that you get God in you and get the Word in you and get your life straightened out. But he says, because your words are going to produce what you're saying in your life. And you're going to either operate in the, the language of the kingdom of darkness or you're going to operate in the language of the kingdom of God. And so he says, get the Word in you and learn how to produce good things in your life. He says this, But I say to you that for every idle or non-productive word men may speak, they will give account of it in the day of judgment. Now listen, For by your words you will be justified, and by your words you will be condemned. Notice it's not what others are saying about you. It's what you say about you. It's how you see you. It's how you believe in your heart. And it's what you say is what's going to matter in your life. So today, I want to challenge you. Make a decision right now that that this year is going to be a year where you produce good fruit. You're going to be a good tree producing things in the kingdom of God. How are you going to do that? You're going to get in the Word. You're going to change how you believe. And you're going to change how you talk. Quit talking yourself into defeat. Start speaking faith. Start speaking the Word. Start saying, I can, instead of I can't. And watch God begin to turn your life around. Amen? So today, get a hold of your words. And remember, I don't care what others say about me. They can't choose or make me to become what they say. Only my words will cause me to become what's being said. So make sure you're saying the right things. Amen? Listen, I pray this has been a blessing to you and encouragement. Get a hold of that which you're saying and say what God says about you and have what God says you can have. And until the next time, I'm praying for you that God's very best will be yours.